much. Now, we're not the only country with an illegal immigration problem. Of course, we've seen this royal Europe. Sweden, for example, used to be one of the most welcoming nations for refugees who wanted to resettle there. But following a series of riots and a stark rise in crime that's linked to the migrants, they said no more. And they reduced the number allowed to come into the country. The country's new prime minister started what is a dramatic shift to Sweden first last year. And Poland, well, they have a different approach. They have a very strict immigration uh, system there. They've accepted some refugees from neighboring Ukraine, but they will not allow in people from elsewhere, even if they're seeking asylum. My next guest, a Polish member of the European Parliament, is going viral for what he said this week about illegal immigration. And the Biden administration, they should take note. The lowest unemployment in European Union is Poland. The highest GDP after COVID in European Union is Poland. One of the lowest debts in European Union is Poland. So don't give us this rubbish about the need of educated immigration. We don't need your doctors. We don't need your engineers. Take them, take them all and pay for them. We don't need them. You know why? Because there is a zero terrorist attacks in Poland. Why? Because, because there is no illegal migration in Poland. So don't give me this look. Don't give me this arguments about the populism because this is a fact. This is your data. Joining me now is Dominique Tarczynski, who is a Polish member of the European Parliament. You just saw in that video. Dominique, it's great to see you tonight. Now, Thank you very the much EU decided the, the EU decided that this refugee um, welcoming was very important and a positive development for Europe, all of Europe. And they looked down on people like you and Poland in general for its decision to say, no. We have to support and protect our culture, which does not include, you know, the Wahhabist Islamic uh, outlook and Wahhabist policies and traditions. And you say? We don't care. Well, there's a difference between refugee and uh, migrant, especially illegal migrant. As a lawyer, I'm trying to repeat it every single time for years now. They are not refugees. They are criminals. Those who are trying to cross the border illegally are criminals, and as a criminal should be deported, and there is no discussion about it. Our policy is very straight. Zero. Not even one, never ever, will come to Poland if it's illegal. If he's trying to cross our border illegally, he will be punished and deported, not uh, welcomed, as, as we heard. We're not going to pay for them. We're not going to uh, fit them in a beautiful rooms, in a hotels, or anywhere else. They will not stay on Polish soil. They will not stay in Poland. Poland, as I said in the parliament, and I'm trying to repeat it, Poland is the only country in the European Union without any terror attack. We haven't had any terror attacks in Poland because there is no illegal migration. That's why every single time I'm trying to say, be like Poland, be brave, believe in your own nations. But most of these spineless politicians in here, in Brussels, are destroying their own countries. I must say, uh, Mr. Trump was right about the wall. He built a beautiful wall. Can you imagine America now without a wall? Poland built a wall. We have a great wall. And no one is able to enter. No one is able to come to Poland. And as we promised, our government promised in 2015, not even one will come to Poland ever. Well, Dominique, Dominique you will continue to support allowing Ukrainian um, refugees, genuine refugees, into Poland during this war, correct? Well, you have to remember that our situation is completely different than, than uh, America, than Americans. Um, we are neighboring country with Ukraine, and by the international law, those who came to Poland, over 2 million, mainly women and, and children, are honest, uh, genuine refugees. But... Our law was changed for some time to support them, support them uh, financially, support them with education, with the health care, and all they need to, to live in Poland. But for, uh, for many reasons, 
Recently, Mr. Zelensky seems very ungrateful, I must say, and our law might be changed. We don't have to uh, support them with all these benefits, uh, like financial support. We don't have to do it. We wanted, we wanted to do it. We, we decided to do it, well, but we don't have to do it anymore. And I think our contracts, while ended, yeah. will not be extended. All right, Dominique, it's great to see you. I'm half Polish, so of course I love interviewing the Poles. Thank you so much Thank for you joining very much. us. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.